My name's Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your editing, teaching you how to edit so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them, giving you full creative control over your videos, images and media. And here in this video, I'm going to be showing you a technique with a plugin available at Pixifilm Studios. It's an audio visualizer, and this technique has been used by very popular music channels and copyright free music channels. And I'm gonna show you how to do that using the audio visualizer that I have purchased from Pixifilm Studios. It's gonna be well worth it for those of you who want to upload music to YouTube. So stay tuned, and we're about to get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the type of audio visualizer that we're going to create is the one that I'm showing you on screen right now. This is a screenshot from a popular copyright free YouTube channel. And basically that exact effect and how to do that is what I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm going to be using the audio visualizer that is available at Pixel Film Studios. So the first thing to do is to find the audio visualizer. Now it's a master line that is being used and that is what we're gonna find here. Just type in master into the generators once you've downloaded the uh, plugin from Pixar Film Studios. Then we're gonna use the master bar template. So what you wanna do is you wanna drag this into the timeline. Then obviously we have our inspector missing so we need our inspector back. So let's get our inspector back into the frame. There we go. <laughs> then at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to find the song that we're going to use. So I already have the song that I want to use. And the song is Thunder. But while we're at it, I'm actually going to import the picture that I found, which is identical to the one that you've just seen in the screenshot of the popular video that we're going to imitate the style of. Here we go. Just going to import the both of these. No optimizer or proxy needed for that. So here we go. So now we have the song that we want. I'm going to drag this into the timeline. I'm just going to zoom out slightly. I'm going to drag our audio visualizer until it matches the length of our audio. There we go. Let's just press play to the ending frame. There we go. That's at the ending frame. And we're going to zoom back out again. Now at this point we're going to select our song, so you need to select the identical song, the same song that is underneath the layer of your audio visualizer. Let's select that ready. One thing that should be on your priority list when doing this is maybe converting your audio into a wave file, as this audio visualizer is actually built not for MP3 but for WAV, W -A -V, audio. One way you can do this is actually using Audacity. So if you don't have any other means of converting your audio into a WAV file, try finding and downloading Audacity and then using Audacity to convert your audio. So we're going to do this for you right now, uh, just as a part of this tutorial. is isn't something I would usually do, but uh, let's do it for those of you who don't have the means of converting your audio. So I'm just going to drag the audio into Audacity. It shouldn't take too long for the software to work. There it is, and we're just going to export it without changing a single thing. So let's go up to File, Export, Export as WAVE. So if you're using your Final Cut Pro and you don't have the uh, means of currently moving things around or converting things because you you, you know some people don't like you know being overwhelmed, this is a way that you can open up a separate software to just export well convert it into a WAV file. And there we have it. That was fairly quick. Do we need to save any changes? No. Thank you. There's our audio in waveform. So let's get back into Final Cut Pro. Now this is an MP3. That shouldn't make a problem. I was just making sure that the audio visualizer can find every sound wave possible so that we can use the full spectrum. So let's choose the song. Gonna find our audio. Here we go. All done. And at this point, sorry, I'm just going to make Final Cut big again, enlarge it again to its full screen. Now, at this point, we have the basis of what we need to begin our imitation of the popular audio visualizer that we have shown you on screen earlier on in the video. 
we need our picture element underneath all of this. So let's go and find it. Oh, wait, I've already actually imported it. <laughs> so it's actually here, it's Sparkler. This needs to be underneath the audio visualizer. And it also needs to be the right size. So let's zoom in on that clip. The first thing we'll be to do is to select it and go into the transforms. Now we're going to transform the scale of this image. So one thing you can do is you can just do a simple enlargement. Uh, the way you would do this is to scale all. There we have it. And clicking done once you've got the desired effect. Now we, I'm not going to, uh, you know, completely imitate this uh, style used by the YouTube channel that we've shown you earlier on. I'm actually going to make a, a video look different, so I'm not going to make it look identical. So one thing you can do, select the picture, go up to the colour panels here, uh, make sure you've got colour selected, and maybe just drag the shadows into a completely different colour frame there. Something not too harsh, but just to make it slightly different. Now let's zoom out. Or actually, sorry, now let's get rid of the effects panel because it's just in the way. And let's zoom out on our timeline and drag our picture so it fills the audio and the visualizer. Press play to make sure that the ending frame matches. There we go. It's a slight difference between the two. Now, before we start messing around with the audio visualizer itself, we're going to add some text. So we're going to go up to our titles. To begin with, I'm just going to find a custom title. I'm going to add a custom 2D title. I'm going to zoom in so I can see it. So using the pinch technique and spreading your fingers, you'll be able to zoom in on your timeline or using the scroller on your mouse. That's another way you can zoom in on your timeline and zooming in and out with ease and quicker. So make sure that it ends on the same frame. See that doesn't end on the same frame. You want to zoom in. You want to drag that to the end. There you go. That's completely zoomed in by a single frame that was. So it definitely matches. You want to go into this text. And you want to change the text to say what you want it to say. I'm going to put my name. After my name, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to change the style of the text. And now it started to come along. Now you can see the audio visualizer is working far too hard. We want it to be slightly more subtle and a lot shorter. So now let's go to the bar height multiplier. With the, ins with the visualizer selected, you want to go to the bar height multiplier and you want to pull this down. And the bar thickness is also something you can mess around with. In our case, I'm going to leave it there at this point. Rows, if you want to have any rows. Changing the colour, the brightness, glow and radius. Then you can change the inner colour if you would like an inner colour. But let's play this to see what it looks like to begin with. Now at the moment we have the full spectrum selected. So we have the full spectrum. We have a left and a right channel. And there is no music offset. One thing that we do is we'll pull down the amount of rows there are. Looking good. And you can just simply just mess around with this until you find the desired look and effect. But this is roughly the same exact style which is being used within the video uh, that I was screenshotted at the start of this video. That is how you create that effect, and we'll show you the final finished piece.
there we have it. That is a technique that I'm teaching you today with the audio visualizer that is available at Pixafilm Studios. Hopefully you really enjoyed this, guys. Give me a thumbs up if it's been helpful to you or you've learned something new. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I upload every single day here on my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits. And I always have something for you that will help you with your editing so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them. Somebody is knocking and they went through that whole speech, but hopefully they won't be knocking the next time I hit record. So see you in the next one here, guys, on Anthony Allen Edits, and peace, man.